Hi friends, today I am going to create multi dependent drop down list in Excel. That dependent drop down list help in data entry and have less error. You can see this drop down list if we select specific company name here. Now according to this company name this cell show me drop down item list and that is dependent on this cell which have company name list. How to create multi dependent drop down list? Let's start. You can see this data set which have company names like HP, Dell, Kingston, Samsung. According to company name, some computer accessories list is here. First we create our first data validation list here in the cell A6. Select this cell, go to data tab, over here then go to data tool. In data tool select data validation. Now here we select list and click inside source box and select this range and press ok. Now data validation list is ready you can see. Now if we select HP this item list appear here in this cell and if we select Dell this item list show here. For this we put here XLOOKUP formula under filter data. Select this cell right here is equal to XLOOKUP bracket start. In first argument lookup value are select this cell A6. Now enter comma for second argument lookup array we select this range enter comma and for return array we select this cell range and some extra cell range select for new items if we add in future. Now all other arguments are optional close bracket and press enter. Now you can see dependent list according to this cell value. If we select here company name, you can see dependent drop down list here. If we click this first cell of dependent list, in formula bar you can see main formula apply here. If we select another cell of this dependent drop down list, you can see formula color is light gray. That's mean if we any change or update require in formula, we select first cell which have main formula. Now create data validation here in this cell of this dependent drop down list. That is very easy. First select this cell, go to data tab select data validation and select here list. Click inside source box and select this cell here. We add specially here hash sign. We cannot want only this cell back in result. We want all this spill array under this. That's why we add spill. If we remove this hash sign press ok you can see only this cell value shows we want all that spill array under this. Go to data validation again and enter here hash sign press ok. Now you can see all dependent drop down list. Now you can see zeros, 
appear in this list. How to fix this? Select this cell which have main XLOOKUP formula. Now right here in formula bar unique bracket start at the end bracket close. Click on unique and click here on function helper. You can see in array this XLOOKUP function. Left this cell by column and enter here true and press OK. You can see here all zero are fixed. You can see in dependent drop down list now. You can see here all zero are fixed. In dependent drop down list. If we add sort function all item list appear in sort order like ascending order or descending order, click this cell and write here sort bracket start at the end bracket close, press enter. You can see all item list is, is in ascending order. I hope you will enjoy this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel that is appreciation from your side and that is your love. Like and share this video with your family and friends. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.